as a mother, I'm very much concerned. Uh, was the exact procedure of the stem cell treatment? Uh, could you please explain us step by step, step by step how it's going to be done? This. Now, that's another good question. <coughs> Fortunately, the procedure for stem cell therapy is a very simple procedure. There is no major operation. There is no cutting or stitching or anything like that. All right. What we do is we take a needle, we put it into the hip bone. All right. Uh, this is done under local anesthesia. We first give local anesthesia so the child feels no pain whatsoever. We put the needle inside and we take out the bone marrow. We take out about between about 80 ml or so of bone marrow. Uh, this whole thing takes about 20 minutes and it is done in the operation theatre. And then the child is shifted back to the ward. Then we take this bone marrow into the stem cell laboratory. In the stem cell laboratory, the real procedure happens where we separate the stem cells from the other cells in the bone marrow. Once we have our stem cells, and we actually put in uh, roughly about 50 million cells, you know. Uh, we call the child back in the operation theatre and we take a very thin needle and put it into the back. This procedure is called a lumbar puncture. It is also almost completely without pain. And then we inject the stem cells into it. So what happens to the child is he gets two injections. One injection to the hip bone to take out bone marrow, another injection to the spine to inject it into the CSF. Mm -hmm. So as a procedure, it's very simple. I mean, no, no major operation. We don't give general anesthesia. This is all done under local mm -hmm. anesthesia and some amount of sedation. Mm -hmm. So it is a completely safe treatment. To show you, for example, uh, uh, you know, see this is a picture of the spine. This is the hip bone. Mm -hmm. You can see this is the hip bone. And uh, what we do is this is the part uh, where we put in the needle. Mm -hmm. And then we take out the bone marrow. Mm -hmm. And then this is the spine mm -hmm. and later we put a needle over here between these two uh -huh. and then inject it into the CSF. If you see this, uh, this is the brain and this is the spine. Mm -hmm. This brown fluid here is the CSF. Mm -hmm. So when we, we inject it into this, when we inject in the CSF, it goes all over to the brain. See the CSF circulates all around the brain. Mm -hmm. So when we inject here, this automatically goes everywhere. And the part of the brain that is damaged in children with autism is here. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, these cells will go into the mm -hmm. damaged area. Mm -hmm. uh, and they go and start the process of repair there. Mm -hmm. When we inject the cells, the improvements that you see are because of three things that happen. The first thing is there's a release of positive chemicals in the body. Mm -hmm. These are called nerve growth factors mm -hmm. or neurotrophic factors. Mm -hmm. One important factor is something called BDNF which actually causes the initial improvements that you see. So that is positive chemicals are released in the uh, brain. The second thing is something called angiogenesis where there is an improvement of the blood supply to the areas that are damaged. And the third thing which happens after three months is that the stem cells actually convert into nerve cells. So this is a three phase change that happens. That is why you see the peak improvements in stem cell therapy between three and six months. Mm -hmm.